Well, hello, people! Welcome back to another episode of Space Astronomy with me, your favorite monkey smash key. Look at me! Look how beautiful I look! Big ol' big ol' armor, arm, arm, big ol' armored arms on, huh? Hmm? Look at me. Wanna pick a fight? Hmm? No problem? Hmm? Oh, I can't do the step up anymore. So that's a big problem. If we're gonna do giant jumbo armor, we're not gonna have, you know, we're not gonna have jump up, we're not gonna have step up. Oh, it's okay, I guess. I would like to have, and whenever we jump back and forth, because this thing has night vision, right? So we're not gonna have night vision no more. Once it decides to click off. I don't know, I like it. Because I was looking at all of the power suit stuff. Oh, no. Power stew. Mmm, power stew. So I was in the process of looking up all the... We are not getting enough power. Oh! Oh, now no, it's going up. That's weird. Maybe it was raining. That could be it, because we are in a desert, right? So it could have been raining. That's why it was so dark. So I've been doing a lot of stuff off camera, because there's a couple of reasons. It, Anytime... Let me level with you. Anytime I'd want to do something, there's like 12 steps that go along with it. Let's go to space. Okay, well, let's not do a spaceship normally this time. Let's make it cool. I'm like, okay, let's make it cool. Oh, well, if we're going to make it cool, we should make a bunch of concrete. All right, so that's like two other steps. And they're like, well, now we have to wait. We have to wait for concrete to pile up. And I'm kind of letting it pile up and then maybe the quarry because I want some dirt so I can put the dirt down in the grass and it'll look beautiful. So there's always little steps, right? Always, always little steps. But then, so for this, I'm like, okay, let's just make some power suits. Okay, so then there's all sorts of cool stuff. So right off the bat, let's look at the helmet, right? Compass. Don't really care about a compass because we have a mod that has a map, right? Don't really care about a clock because we have a mod that has a clock. Flight control. Integrated control circuit to help you fly better. Ooh, okay. Right off the bat, let's get night vision, okay? Control circuit, hologram emitter, okay? Control circuit. Again, not, none of this mod is very expensive. Particularly because it can get... There's a lot of crossover with mechanism. We don't have any green dye. Actually, we need to plant some cacti, cactuses. And then what was the other one? Hologram? Hologram emitter? Okay, again, real cheap. Like, this whole thing is really cheap. Even... Okay, even with the power capacitor. So this is what we want. We want the battery. Ooh. Thermal generator, hey? What's this? Kinetic generator. That's kind of cool, too. Light battery. Solar generator. Oh, okay. So we want to throw in... Let's... Let's do all the... First of all, elite batteries, right? Maybe we can put more than one thing on each thing. So we want to do the high-efficiency solar generator. Right? Just so we can get... So we don't have to keep recharging it all the time. But let's look at the elite batteries, right? So it's just an HV capacitor. HV capacitor, again, just wires, a Lapatron crystal. These are just ground up lapis. The advanced control circuit, you know, again, really cheap. The only thing is the energy crystal from Industrial Craft. Nine energy uranium dust, four diamonds. So four diamonds per max tier battery, right? Which is, which is really good, which I feel like is really good. So we're going to set this up, right? Problem is... A lot of these recipes require a lot of, like, a lot of not only automation, but a lot of what I feel to be industrial craft stuff, right? Like solenoid, like, okay, so, for instance, for the wiring, it's much it's much cheaper to just do gold cables, right? So you need two gold cables, you get eight. Okay, so two gold cables, so one gold plate, you get 16, one gold ingot gets you one gold plate. Sure, not a problem. Or, because this uses iron. Every Yeah, see, like, a forge hammer, you can use it 80 times. That means I can make 80 gold plates before, right? But if you do this with the metal former, it doesn't cost you nothing. Also, this, again, 60 uses, right? Or you can use the metal former again and get some cables. So I feel like we want to go industrial craft. But if we're going to do industrial craft, what is this? Myofiber. 
For use in the tinker table? Oh, oh, this is the tinker table. I always think of the tinker table as that table over there. So, we can get some pretty op armor right off the bat. Like, mechanical assistance. So, from what I can tell, is if you just load this thing with everything, you're going to be super, super heavy, right? Like, for the helmet, uh, maybe we'll throw, like, if you throw the plate, like, okay, so iron pa plating, heavy but protective. Advanced plating is lighter, harder, and more protective, but much harder to make. I'm going to I'm going to believe you. So psh, cheap. Eh, it's just cost more diamond. That's I mean not 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 that we're rolling in diamonds or anything like that. Okay, so lighter harder. Sure, we'll go with that. But then also all of a sudden energy shields are much lighter than plating, but consume energy. Right? So it's like do we want to do that? And it's much less diamonds. But the problem is then it'll constantly, it'll slowly drop down in power. Do we care about that? And then heat sink. Eh. Right? So should we should we do energy shields? Elite battery. Solar generators. Airtight seal. Oh. Oh, hey. Airtight seal. That's kind of cool. Just a piece of glass. Radiation shielding. Auto feeder. That's... I don't like that. Water electrolyzer. Okay. So this, we can swim underwater. Have no problem. Night vision. This is all really good stuff. Radiation shielding. Jet boots. Shock absorbers. Okay. That's all kind of standard stuff. Kinetic generator. Movement. Step up. I like that. Uh, jump assist. Sprint assist. I like those. I like those three. And then for the chest, what do we got? So this reduces the weight. So if we load up with our stuff, we'll be moving real slow, right? Liquid nitrogen. Water tank. Mob repulsor. Cooling system. We should get a heating system. This is all really great stuff. Invisibility, jetpack, glider, parachute. Thermal generator. So, a thermal generator... I feel like maybe we'll have a different suit of, a suit of armor for each planet we go to. Because some planets, super, super hot. So hot. So, might as well take advantage of that, right? So we need, I want to do all of these right now, but I don't have the stuff for them. So what I was doing off camera was getting our applied energistic system set up. Because we, we're just getting full of stuff. It's not, you know, all of this stuff should probably go away. All right, my gloves. So I was actually in the process of doing all that stuff by running around and getting some inscribers. Okay. So what you do is you end up, because I freaking made an extra two, you make a meteoric compass, meteorite compass, iron surrounded by a, surrounding a charged certus quartz crystal, okay? and that'll point you to, that'll point you to a, the chunk or chunks that have sky stone in it. Usually it's about four chunks, it's centered on, in the center of four chunks, like a little two by two, and you just dig straight down if you can't see it, and then you find the sky stone chest with some stuff inside of it. So now... We went to, there's a couple, and they're kind of far. So here, I'm going to do this real quick, and you can just pause when you see them. So, nah, nah, that's the location of that one. And that's the location of that one. And that's the location of that one. And that's the location of that one. I had to go to four because I couldn't find, I think this was the last one I needed, was like the calculation one, I think. Yeah, I found all the other ones except for the calculation one, and you need all of them to do it. To do the thing you want to do. Eh? So we were looking at applied energistics. And applied energistics is great for a bunch of reasons. Mostly storage and automated crafting. Which is that's what we want to get into. Mostly the automated craft. Because I mean there, there's a bunch of different mods that do different automated crafting things. But this one 
we want because it it'll hold all our stuff and then every time I say hey make me some wires I need a stack of wires then AE will go all right you want a stack of wires that's uh you throw a cut one ingot into this thing it'll hammer it and then take that hammered and throw it through this thing and I'll make wires and then auto craft it done now you don't have to do it yourself which is good for me right what time is it it's getting dark let's go sleep So we can do the automated, we can do the automated stuff and it'll go a little bit faster. So that's, that's why, maybe we'll do AE next episode because I think we're missing a bunch of stuff. We do have, I did get some Surtis Quartz dust, but I think one of, a lot of these recipes, we need Nether Quartz, which we don't have any, like literally none. I don't know why. Did we not do any Nether Quartz stuff? Like why? Like who, who, whose job was that? That we weren't, that we weren't doing that, you guys. Hmm. I think it was my fault because I didn't do anything. Uh, throw that in there. Okay. So what can we be in looking forward to right now? I feel like let's stop what we're doing and do power. I know, I know. I'm just terrible, absolutely terrible. So I was thinking about it, and first of all, we are going to do. We are doing going to do the seed squeezer. Because first of all, we need so we need seeds, and then we need sugar cane, and that's going to be in here, and that's going to be our big biofuel thing, or it's going to be beautiful, it's going to be great, everyone's going to love it. But we're getting a bunch of this stuff because this farm's going like basically nonstop, right? And it's filling up, it's doing its thing, and nothing's happening with it. So I thought, why not do biofuel? Huh? Huh? So let's a couple of things right off the bat. First, we need. A bunch of ingots because we want a bunch of well we need a drum we don't need a bunch of drums so let's just make one drum uh, what am I doing like this there so we got a drum for our biofuel okay and then what do we need so if you, if you look up bio so we need one bioreactor so we need slime sugarcane a fermented spider eye uh, mushroom oh thank god oh thank goodness uh, uh, mob drops, fermented spider eye, two slime, I think it said. Uh, probably a bunch of that rubbery stuff. And let's go over here. And bam, bam, bam. Nope. Dang it. Bam. And then ba bam. And then ba bam. Dang it. I'm just the worst of this game. Why are we so bad? Ba bam. Seriously? What's going on? Oh, we need two more sugar. And sugar cane. Ba bam. Bam. So right off the bat, let's grab a lever though. Um sticks? Got any sticks? We know about sticks, you ain't got no sticks. And like this. So you want to provide a redstone signal. You want to provide a redstone. Let's just put it right here for right now. I think this will be okay. So you want to provide a redstone signal to this thing so it doesn't actually kick off any fuel. Because if you throw in, I think you can throw in wheat. Okay. No. Okay. Wheat is off the table. No wheat. Uh, let's try all of the other things. Okay. Artichoke. Yep. So see how fast it's going? How little fuel it made? Efficiency was really low. In fact, we can even do it again. So artichoke. So when it says efficiency is five. Efficiency is so low. So terrible. Throw in some blackberries. Oh, efficiency jumped up to 25. So it's more efficient to have more varied stuff. Look at that. So let's keep going. So apparently, let's try cabbage. Let's do candleberry. No, actually candleberry we want for other stuff. So chili pepper, let's do zucchini, strawberry, raspberry. Does miss eats. So look at that. So efficiency is at a hundred percent. One, four, two, five. So when we turn off the redstone signal, it's going to make so much fuel. Just so much fuel. Okay. And what are we going to do with this fuel? You may ask. Well, if we look again at bio, about a fuel generator. Eh? Eh? And I think we actually can make this. So we. I think I did the math once. Uh, so we need, I think, I think it was 10. 
Okay. Let's get rid of some of this AE stuff for right now. Because we're going to come back to it. Don't get me wrong. We're going to come back to all this stuff. But I just want to look at the fuel real quick. Um, I think there was like pistons we needed. Do we have any stuff for pistons? No. Not at all. And we are never prepared. Let me get some of that. Let's get some wood. Let's get some iron, I guess. I don't know. And then some redstone. Okay. So, biofuel, we need a eh, bunch of pistons. Let's make, let's, let's not make 32. Let's make 16. And then we need to make some furnaces. Fern eye. Hmm. And then, but bam All five. Perfect. So, from what I can tell, and I might be wrong, I could be wrong, is that this thing can take a maximum, like, I think I did, okay, there we go, and like that, and like that, and that, and that, and that, there, okay, so how many buckets do you have, barely one, so how many of you guys get power, okay, so, so right off the bat, it's working, it's making RF, beautiful, right, uh, can we wire this up? Do we have any Ender IO conduits laying around? Perfect. Do we have a cell kicking around? I don't think we do. Should we just do immersive engineering? One and one. Perfect. So when it's full, in fact, we'll just let it go. We'll just let it run. When this thing is full, why is this gonna be, this is gonna be ugly as all get out? There, and then like like this, perfect. And then can we even just like, can we slap this on here? Oh yeah, we can. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so then we'll just. Attach this to our network. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that. So what this thing does is it kicks off a certain amount. In fact, can we get, can we export from that buffer real quick? Do we have, wait, wait, do we have a bucket? Can I just right click? No. Right click. Come on, give me, give me this. Give me it, please. Please. So it's not letting me. But once this thing gets full, so you see how it's not going down. In fact, it's slowly filling up the biofuel. How much energy does this thing make? Biofuel generator. Hold on. MTB wiki biofuel generator. So this thing makes 160 RF per tick. Look at that. So I did the math. The bioreactor will kick off enough biofuel to keep five biofuel reactors sorted. Like it'll keep five biofuel reactors full. And as you can kind of see, look how slow it is, right? Like it's barely... What was in here? Strawberry, zucchini, yeah, I'm not gonna. But you know what I mean? Like, you can have this thing auto filling into here from even from the farms directly. And they'll go into here and it'll sit in here. You can even have like a little buffer if you want. Because the way Ender IO works is it won't it won't export it. Like it won't accept it into this inventory. Or sorry, it won't pull it out of the chest. Unless it can actually go into the inventory, right? So it's like, I, I think it's great. And you can have these things constantly just like full going. And then all of a sudden we're making, like, look, this thing's already starting to go now. So this one's full. It's making 160 RF a tick. This one's starting to get full. It's going to slowly fill up. And this is making 160 RF per tick. So that's five. What's five times? Where's my calculator at? Calculate. Where am I? 
And five times 160 RF per tick. Bam! 800 RF we're making. Just from the farms. So I think we're going to tweak the farms. Let's just keep tweaking the farms, making making more fuel. Because we do need to get some of the seeds and the sugar cane. This needs to be done. People keep commenting, going, hey, Smackies, you can, uh, you can synthesize cocoa beans. I'm like, oh, right. So maybe I'll do that stuff off camera. Maybe synthesize some cocoa beans, finish this up, maybe tweak the farms a little bit. See, the main, the main thing is I'm behind on videos. That's the thing. And I haven't had a day off yet. I'm still working an eight hour day every day. Right. So, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to start recording. Not the blood moon. So I've been recording in my off time, which I can only record, you know, maybe an hour. I can record and edit maybe an hour a day on the days I work. So that's, that's why we're not getting ahead. That's why you're getting episodes real late. That's why, that's why there's not a lot, a whole lot of planning, but tomorrow's my first day off. So I'll be able to kind of get ahead a little bit and we'll be able to get this stuff going. And if I'm ahead, then I can spend more time doing the other stuff. Like, you know, sorting these things out and making this look nice and digging it. Cause I want this underneath. Like I want all the biofuel underneath, you know, but I hope this helped. I hope your fuel situation is way better than my fuel situation. Cause right now we should be good. We should be just be f getting full on power on everywhere. Oh, you know what? We won't because of a reason, because this is coming from there and it's not actually going in. <sighs> Dang it. You know what? Easy fix. Easy fix. We just run to this thing and tell it to accept from the back instead of export. Like, look at that. Now it's going up. No, you're not going to not going up. Well, doesn't matter. Gotta go. I know I didn't do anything this episode. You know, I'm probably going to be doing nothing next episode either, but I'm hoping you're having fun. Tell me, tell me what you enjoy. Tell me. Okay. Right off the bat, we got to go to space. That's what we're doing. That's the whole title, but there's a bunch of steps. You can't just be banging rocks together, punching a tree. And then all of a sudden you're like, let's go to space, right? I don't even have the resources to go to space yet, but I will very soon. So this has been space astronomy. I've been your favorite monkey smash keys and you have a nice day.